you know, we were struggling for a really long time. Okay. And then eventually I just started reading books. My wife convinced me, um, you know, to study up on a couple of things. We had a couple of trade shows, yep. started implementing some change. And throughout years, uh, over time, we're able to really turn that place around. Um, you know, it, it, it operates on a great profit margin. Uh, okay, my so parents, same store. Same store, still open. It's yep. seasonal. Yep. And um, shares uh, the title for back-to-back uh, -back United States Pizza Champions. Okay. Um, we yeah, operate on a, about a uh, closer, well, I think last year was about 18% profit margin. 18, profit. 18, 18, 18. 18. 18. 18. Yeah, yep. I think it was 18 in the last year with uh, yeah, so 18% profit. Yeah, 18%. Yep. Um, last year, I think the year before that was 16. Okay. But, but it's good comparing from making no money. So this is a store that pretty much went into bankruptcy or, yeah. you know, received. It was, we, were, it was. we were so close. We were so close. Um, it was months away eventually. And then what I did is I, I basically said, all right, we need to make this amount of money. And we started costing backwards yep. and um, really focusing on, you know, the profit first and building things around that. And, and it was a very uh, rudimentary or very uh, simple it process, simple, but, 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 but it was simple, but it's so hard. It's a bit of a paradox. Yeah. And then, so I did, we went through so many different things and made a lot of different changes over the years. And now, now the year, it's, that was 18 years ago. Yeah, well. And uh, now, you know, uh, things are so different. You know, we don't work position labor anymore. We're not filling that. Yeah. My family. Well, you got more than one venue now as well, yeah? We have Fine Folk Pizza here in Fort yep. Myers, Florida, yep. and then my parents still own Denunzio's in, in New Jersey. Yeah, that's their spot. Yep. And uh, we don't, you know, I have some nieces and nephews in there. They're running systems, they're culture, people. Um, you know, I remember when I was working 100 hours a week or more making no money and, uh, you know, eating, taking my lunch break over a, a trash can, yep. eating a slice of pizza, getting yep. a jaw cramp. What was your... If someone's in that spot right now, because you were there, when you're in that spot, you're almost so caught up in the world and what's going on that you can't you can't think that anything can be different. It, yeah, it's it's so it's so uh, it's so hard when you're definitely in that spot, especially because we're the sum of the, the five, five most people. people we surround ourselves with. Yep. So if you're surrounding yourself with you know your coworkers and the vibe is already just not where you need it to be and you're not making the money you want it to be then it's just this ever evolving cycle yeah and so yeah. Yeah. you have to it really comes down to have to figure out a way to shift your mindset yeah it's everything this yeah. mindset is everything and what and was it the foreclosure that kind of gave you the the kick in the ass to to make those changes to get off that merry-go-round what yeah absolutely because uh we started i was uh, we opened the venue. I was 18 at the time, and yeah. uh, man, you know, I I thought I knew everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just such a because when you, you do know everything when you're 18, you know. Yeah, and that's really what it was. There was just a lot of ego and a lot of so, arrogance. Yeah, so so much ego in the process. Yeah, and eventually it wasn't until I, you know, I I had to start learning because it was we were right here. Okay, it got so real, you know, where, um, you know. I'm out front of my parents' house. My dad's car is on idle, and we're we're moving the things out of the house. People are watching, like, and they're like, "Oh, we knew they'd fail," you know. And there's all these things, and it's happening, and yeah, yeah. And it was it just got so real, and it was like this business that we had was three months away from never opening again. It was right there, and so we really needed to make some drastic changes. And thankfully, you know, yeah. you grow through pain, and it was either sink or swim kind of moment. Yeah. And um, it wasn't pretty, but the first year when we turned it around, you know, we went from losing 40 grand that year to uh, profiting 40, I think, or 45. And then yeah. from there, it, it's you know, it, it's gone yeah. up. And, yeah. and also the time in the restaurant. I don't work it, position inside isn't anymore. It amazing, isn't it amazing? And this is where so many people who are in that pain uh, struggle and, and hurt is that most venue owners, well, all venue owners that I see who come through our program, the more money they make and the more profitable their venue is, the less that they work. It just, yeah. It's like this formula that you don't need to work in your venue for it to make money. You need to have the system set up right. You need to have the culture set up right. You need to have the product right and the marketing right. And the rest just works. 100% true. Yeah. And that's that's been the biggest shift yeah. for sure. So, yeah. So, thankfully, that place is uh, doing really well now. And 
they're all situated and now uh, my nieces and nephews are involved in, in yep, running so that. So still family run. It's, yeah, family run, but there's also a help of a lot of people in there and uh, the culture is strong. And yeah, it's, it's a place that, it's a great success story that we've turned around. And then from there, um, I wanted to, I always, I never really liked cold weather. So I came here on vacation one year and I met my wife. Okay, yeah. And um, I fell in love with the area and in Fort Myers, Florida. Yeah. And I've done a lot of different things, but I've always come back to restaurants. It's always been my thing. It's my passion point. And, pizza's uh, and pizza, pizza's my jam. The shirt. The yeah. shoes. You, you can't see your shoes, but um, it's got pizza shoes. <laughs> yeah. So I, I really am I'm very passionate about, you know, I, I, I live and breathe restaurants and I, and I love being a part of it. So I opened up uh, another location very close. It's uh, 1,266 miles away from the one in New Jersey. Okay. Okay. Not close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, not, yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, not close. Yeah, yeah. Not close. But um, you know, so we're over here doing that, and um, you know, and this place has been here for seven years, and uh, yeah, it's something. And we're at, I'm at a point now where I've got a really excellent team. Yep. I've got great systems. Uh, we've got a really strong culture in the, in the store. Uh, the place is turning a good profit, and uh, you're in it, comfort mode. We're, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm very comfortable, but I'm in a place of creativity where every week, you know, I'm, I'm focusing on high value tasks, you know, so that way I can make my business more profitable and move and move things forward can following we, my vision. Can you talk about the concept of high value tasks? Yeah, absolutely. So um, owners typically, I guess, initially when, when I was back in, we travel back in time again, where you know, I was in the kitchen working 100 hours a week. I was doing a job that, you know, essentially I should have had someone else do. And quite frankly, could have been more qualified in that moment. Now I'm a very good pizza maker, Tim. But, <laughs> but, but, but there was a time. Um, and uh, so, you know, now I should have been focusing on things that um, could drive my average customer spend up. Or I should have been uh, focusing on uh, my food costs, my recipe costs, my yep. marketing what my vision is, what's the brand, what are we offering, yeah. how to provide the best work experience, you know, because at the end of the day, um, there are tasks that I can focus on that can easily make upward, you know, a couple hundred dollars an hour versus, you know, the 20 bucks. The 20 bucks yeah. now. And it's up to me too to be in that mode, not only for myself, but for my team as well. Because the more I stay in that space, yeah. the rest of my team around me as well can rise up as well. And, you know, that's what this world's all about. Yeah. Now, if you're watching right now and you're thinking, well, that's all good and well, but I still need to do these lower value tasks. You know, if I could work on the higher value tasks, I would. What we learned very early on uh, at Booty Coaches was that it wasn't about giving venue owners more things to do to make them profitable. What it was about was giving them less. And as you come into our program now, Elite Mastermind, the first thing that we do is a time audit and we figure out exactly what you're doing and what you shouldn't be doing and what you should be doing instead. And we focus on removing things away to free you up so you can start working on your venue and these high value tasks that Mike's just talking about. So mate, you're a coach, uh, you're a coach for us. Why, why do you like, you know, tell me why. Um, because clearly you got, you know, successful venues, um, you're not working, you're cruising around. Yeah. Um, why, why, why are you coaching for us? And, and like, Yeah, you know, for me, the reason that I jumped in with foodies was because of, you know, the pain that I went through with my family. And I really wanted to get people out of that pain, you know, feeling that firsthand. Yeah. Um, I just, it was, it was such a rough experience and it's so relatable. And to me, I just had this need inside that I just want to help back. people. You know, the name of our pizzeria is fine folk pizza. It's who we aspire to be. It's a character thing. Right. And so yep. it just aligned with, wanting to give back to the world in a way is something that I know I can do to make people's lives better. It's very rewarding. Yeah. A very rewarding part of the process. And after jumping in with the coaching program and seeing, you know, what we're doing and what we're offering, the path to success just makes sense. It, it, that's yeah. really what it is, you know, seeing where, you know, with our kickstart model and yeah. freeing people up to get them to get some of those quick wins. Um, then getting those wins and then being able to replace themselves in position so that way they can get some of their time back yep. and not only get it back, but afford to be able to do it. And then because at the end of the day, no matter how hard we try, 
you know, you can't, well, if you're working a hundred hours and then you ask someone to put in another five hours, not only are they mentally and physically exhausted, so the implementation is going to struggle as well. So the science behind the way we do it, the process here yeah. at Foodies is just spot on. And yeah. that's why I'm rallying behind it. And that's why I'm so hard, I'm so happy to be a part of the program because I know it works. And, um, and now I've actually already been implementing even more some of the stuff that I've been seeing in the program and learning <laughs> in my own place, you know, absolutely. Because, um, you know, we practice what we preach here. Yeah. Yeah. So true. So, um, a couple of things is, uh, what Mike's saying is people don't grow into pain and it's really what we found is, you know, people go to their accountant or their advisor or their business consultant and they go, well, you need to go do X, Y, and Z inside your venue. And the thing is, it's adding more pain. So uh, Foodie Coaches, and Mike just talked about the Kickstart program. If you're in that level of pain right now, that Kickstart program is really designed to help free up some hours and pay for our services. It pays for our program. Um, and we do that by really kind of showing you how to add quick profits to your bottom line, really in very simple ways. And so many people in this industry think that it's one big thing that changes your venue, but it's not. It's just a whole heap of simple little things done well and done consistently. Yeah. So it's a kickstart program. But in the Elite Mastermind program, it doesn't matter where you are right now um, inside of your venue. You might be at above 10% profit um, looking to scale and you'd sit in the optimized section where we really start dialing in and we, we go from 10s to 20%. Uh, and there's a few of those owners in there up around the 33s, 34% profits. Yeah, um, and working less hours inside their work, venue working too. Working no yeah. hours. Yeah. Um, and their only focus is, is is just expansion from store up to store up to store. Mm -hmm. um, so it doesn't matter where you are, there, there's there's a product offering for you to help you grow and expand. and and be around a community of people and be around a community of people who are like-minded. And can we talk about the community a little bit? Cause you just oh, mentioned yeah. as an owner, you, you, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So 100%. you're working a hundred hours on the floor and you're around all your employees every day. Uh, you know, you end up with that same mindset. So what we've done at Foodie Coaches is, is we've created this community and we have calls every single week uh, mm -hmm. of like, 50, 60, 70, 70 different business owners on calls on a Tuesday. Yep. Um, live events. We talk about the pods. Uh, what What's your take on on the community side from what you've seen so far? Uh, I mean, it's just so much uh, that's going on in the community. Uh, first of all, I mean, there's the Facebook groups, right? They, you know, you have a Facebook group where there's um, your, you know, your pod group, depending on where you start off and where you're assigned. And it's a smaller and more intimate group where you can get questions that you need from not only from your coach, but the people who are in your pod at the same level as business that you're at right there. And what's great about that is people will answer questions um, to you not only just get one perspective, but you'll get multiple perspectives yeah. from the community. So then you can choose the answer, which is best for you. Yeah. I love that. And Based then, on a hundred different experiences. Yeah, exactly. And that's in your area, you know, you know, with people with that are in within your business area, you know, where you're at, where they're, everyone's at kind of the same area in your pod group. But then we have the elite mastermind main page. And if you don't get the answer that you want from your coach or your pod, then essentially you can post it on this main elite mastermind page. And this is where there's members from everybody at different levels in our program, whether it's profit, optimize or scale. And you're going to get even more vast perspectives. And you might get somebody from if you start if you're in at profit, you might get somebody from Optimize or Scale and say, you know, answer a question that you might in a in a mindset that you might not have even been there, but they're already there, and that could be yep. an extremely yep. valuable experience as well. So the Facebook groups, the community is really well, and everybody's so supportive of each other. It's 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 just so it's so powerful. So I love that. The calls, when people are turning up on calls, you know, each week, there's so much value that goes around and just being present there. And, and sometimes you don't even have to ask a question, but just to be there, you can see the questions and, and listen to the questions. And you might not even realize that you had that question, but then you get the answer and then you can apply it. It's like yeah. what you hear, these little nuggets of knowledge. It's a parachute. It's a parachute, exactly. It, it could be a little bit of nugget of knowledge that makes you, you know, 30, 50, $100,000 like 
you know, over time, like, and these are the real wins that, you know, we're having on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. It's insane. It's, it's insane. It's and it, and really it's, cool. and it's so cool to be able to direct some traffic into the tools that we have for our members. Yeah. Because it's, it's one thing to say, hey, go and do this, but it's another thing to show someone or train someone or, yeah. or have the training there for yeah. them to do. Yeah, and then when we our members are turning up on the calls each week, we're, we're talking about the wins that we're having. So we're, we're celebrating those wins each week, you know, and, and, and they're like, this is what happened. And everyone, it's like, oh, wow. And then other people are seeing that and they're like, oh, my God, I can do that too. You know, and it's like social proof. And if you're like on the fence about doing something, and, but – 35 45 different venues are already doing it and they're winning and you're like oh Oh, well that's a no-brainer why am i not doing it but if you're surrounded by just your team and your store and you're like oh we can't do it for this white reason or somebody else or your uncle john who's a plumber right or nothing you know (laughs) unless nothing is plumbers right no 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 no, 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 i'm just saying i'm I'm saying but like you don't ask someone from a different field you know to do a different job right and so um you know you come to an area where we're 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 focused on getting people more money and and opening up their schedule getting more time back that's yep. our those are our goals you know 100%. and uh, it's exciting to be a part of that i mean i i talk forever about this no. yeah we'll wrap it up well, you, you could talk forever um okay so um what's it look like someone comes we'll wrap this up in two seconds but if someone's sitting here right now they're on the fence doing big hours they might want to optimize um, and they click the link, they book a call, you chat to the team, um, someone comes on board, they're going to come talk to you. Yes. Yeah, so they, yeah, they're, they're going to, wait, so you, <laughs> reframe that, so when they, they're on the call, what do I say to them at that point? Yeah, well, you bring them in. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think that if you're on the fence, um, and, you know, our, our mind's like a lot like this, I think it's important to really think about our beliefs in a way that, is what I believe actually going to help me achieve my goal and take the action step? Like, or does it contradict what I want to achieve? So if you come into something, you think this isn't going to work, then your actions essentially are going to reflect that belief system. Yeah. So then if you choose to believe that, then you won't take action and nothing will ever change. But if you believe that, Hey, you know what? I like what I see here. I'm going to go in and give it everything I got. I can change. That's the only chance. That's the only chance that you have at change you have to be open to want to make that change. Yep. And so, um, you know, my recommendation is give it a shot, try it out. Um, you know, we stand behind what we do and you won't be disappointed, trust me. Cool, man. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the inside.